Welcome back to the show. (laughs) It's Yuck Time, episode 42, I think. Oh, Jesus of fuck. What what an evening we have had thus far. Um, Good golly gosh. This might be a a shorter episode, potentially, depending on uh, how things end up at the end of the next hour. But... Um, yeah, welcome back. It's yuck time, and we're we're out here. We're yucking. We're fucking yucking. We just watched, uh... <laughs> yeah, intro the, the thing. Fuck it. Just take watched... over. How about you just... I, 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 take over for an episode. Like, like... Maybe next episode. <laughs> when I watch the Furiosa movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, you audience. Mad Max. We just watched Mad Max Fury Road. And this is also a very uh, special day. Um, something that we haven't talked about even the in the last couple hours. Fucking uh, What's-His-Face got charged for whatever. From <laughs> what I heard, he was indicted for This is day's old news at this point. Campaign funds for all to y'all. pay his sad bitch to be quiet. Yeah, and this is this came out like forever ago. This was, I think, in the Mueller report. I maybe I don't know. Didn't his lawyer go to prison for lying about? Yes, it? yes, he did, and that was also years ago. At this point, that was like mm. that happened like a year after, or within a year after the fucking election. Mm. I want to say the 2016 election. This is a politics episode now. No, um, but yeah, that happened today. Fuck him. Fuck them. Um, everyone was making their jokes on social media, as they do. I made a joke that, like, nobody fucking appreciated. It was really the only thing that I said about it at all. Was <laughs> I joked about not being able to come up with a joke. And then that was the joke. Is like, uh, my head is emptier than is the fucking not guilty charge count. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're not all winners. Yeah, we just watched fucking Mad Max. I just made Tez watch Mad Max, as usually happens when movies are watched on this show that that aren't, like, you know, immediate theatrical releases. I definitely wasn't going to watch it. Yeah, well, do you, do you appreciate now having seen it? No? Why are you shaking your fucking head? Hell no. <laughs> Talking about hell nah. He's just doing this to upset me. And I'm already pretty fucking upset. It made me dislike Furiosa. Yeah. Well, I guess. I don't know. Not having... Neither of us having seen the prequel yet, maybe there are are more complicated fucking, like, things that are motivating her. And maybe... I give it to her. You know, there are some other things going on. I, I, I know that she does have a love interest in the prequel. That bitch plan was stupid as hell. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he Tezo really like fell off with Furiosa. He was he was great with Furiosa up until the ninety five percent mark of the movie when she decided to take off across the Great Salt Flats. She was one hundred and sixty to days in one direction. We we John came up with this misogynistic idea to oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> to rank the women. <laughs> oh yeah, I, and, I I came up with this idea. And, and, and out of the women, this, you could only choose me <laughs> thing to come up with. You could only choose three. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker of the six women. Yeah, I, this was this was totally my idea and not my <laughs> co-hosts. I said I'm totally like you should be these Fucking women are fuck. objects, John. <laughs> <laughs> we are not things. But it's if I had to choose, of the film. if I had to choose, oh yeah, go off, Tezo. Yeah, it, it would. It was Furiosa, uh, the 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 Cheetos, or Cheetos, Cheeto, yeah. or Cheeto, whatever that single that Cheeto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that chick, 
in one individual Cheeto. And then I was between Zoe Kravitz yeah. and this redhead chick in Riley Keo. And Zoe got it. I yeah, think. yeah. I couldn't replace Furiosa. Well, well, it's funny because since this this was my idea to rank three women, I didn't actually rank three women. I just had Tezo do it. So this was all a great big prank. No. <laughs> Let me not throw Tezo under the bus. He he <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but it don't really make sense. No. That nigga was ugly as hell. Who? Fucking Nux. The skin, yeah, the skin nigga. Yeah, yeah, fucking uh, what's Tony. his face? Was it Tony? In skin, I do, you know skins. I don't know skins. I, think it was I don't know his name in skins. I forget his name in real life now. Nicholas Holt. People, yeah, I know people. By Nick that Holt, character. who's he's playing fucking Lex Luthor now in the Superman like, movie. Like I'll be Graham. I know him as Drake. <laughs> I know him as Jimmy in the wheelchair. Great characters. <laughs> Drake is a great character. Jimmy is a great. <laughs> Jimmy is superior to Drake. Hell no. Nah. All he wanted to do is drop out of high school and sell t-shirts. Nah, Drake Drake got it. <laughs> got all Drake, who is now also selling t-shirts. He, he, he's, he's a pedophile. I mean, he's not a pedophile. This... <laughs> uh, okay, oh wait. We are off the rails now. The, the, the derail, it says Drake was rarely brought up. No, yeah, Drake is a yuck time character. I now. wouldn't consider Drake a pedophile. <laughs> no, uh, he's probably I don't know. He's borderline. I would say he was a febophile. Don't if you make that fucking distinction, then you're just as like <laughs> that's in what hot I'm saying. water. That's what I'm saying. No, like, no. You, you can't be bringing that shit up and acting like it's there's a real distinction. No, it's still that's what I said. That's why you got to clarify. Like, it's still borderline. It just the only difference it's is not even borderline. The it's age. it's, it's like the the, the li- there is a hard cut off. The age is what makes it borderline. Because yeah. one year could change it. Uh, it's well it's uh, one day could change it motherfucker i guess you know an hour could change it it, it really doesn't fucking if, matter if, if you're, you're fucking around with if you're like, r kelly i was even saying about like like you know jerry fucking seinfeld that motherfucker was 38 like basically drake's age now when he was dating a 17 year old chick you know uh, literal child like you can't be fucking doing this shit i could you just be- cannot I could be cool Stop with them, it. but I can't hang around them. They too young. Can't be hanging around these these fucking motherfucking unless, dudes. Unless they get money. Just catch the fucking ick from now, all kinds of Now, if you a 17 year old getting a million dollar bag and you could teach me how to get that million dollar bag, we gonna run it up. The fuck? What does that mean? But other than that, we ain't doing nothing sexual. What the fuck does that mean? Why, why are you, what, you're seeking a 17 year old's advice? No. What, is this like I, a I said, TikTok? I, like child who's famous. No, I say teach I, me your ways, oh child. I say it's no reason for me or anybody that's thirty eight to be around a seventeen. No, there unless, is no reason unless that child is making multi million dollars and they could put you on somehow. You got to be their family member or their fucking teacher, and that's it. Or they are multi million dollar like scammer type crypto kid. scammer crypto yeah. kid. well you don't have to be no fucking 17 year old to know how to do crypto no shit. but that's the only reason that i would like i i gave you a pass <laughs> that's a very specific you, ass that's fucking what I'm saying. Reason. If, it, if any sexual shit is involved i'm looking at you crazy but say less <laughs> if, if you say all right this nigga he got he making me millions i'm like all right you know jenna ortega made a movie like that recently it was called like miller's girl or some shit what a, a, a movie where she plays like a, a young ass kid and she, she tries fucking on her teacher, whatever the fuck. <coughs> I believe it. <coughs> fucking Bilbo from The Hobbit. I believe it. Yeah. God. But nah, Jerry, you don't got no reason to be with no seventeen. Jerry fucking sucks. At fuck 30. that guy. I never really thought he was funny. He's funny looking. Everyone's having that fucking debate on Twitter. It's like, oh, well, of course he was part of the reason why his show was funny. It's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I never thought the show was that funny. Nah, that shit you know? was hilarious. It's it's just like... 
was Jerry. The problem I have with that shit is is the problem. Like like I again, it's like I can't separate the art from the artist. <laughs> was Jerry himself the reason it was funny? No. Nah. No. Hey hey, that's it, the debate that people are fucking having right now. The funny because shit. Everyone's like, oh, it was all Larry David, but like you know. Did Jerry funny uh, shit happen at at Jerry crib? Yeah. <laughs> and, and okay, so you're f- firmly in that fucking camp. I can't even go that far. Elaine I thought the show was just fucking obnoxious as a whole. Kramer might be the nigger guy, but <laughs> he was hilarious. <laughs> and George uh. Costanza is the ultimate funny nigga. That nigga was fucking the bitch and eating a sandwich at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this nigga wild. That bitch, what you doing down there? That nigga eating a sandwich. <laughs> This nigga, <laughs> I'm like a kid and I don't really get it. I don't really understand, but I'm like, I know that it's like sex or something supposed to go on. I know you're not right. supposed to be eating no sandwich in the middle of that bitch. Well, clearly is, not. Is it that boring that or some is shit? A faux pas. That nigga, like, I have a snack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, George, like. That is a fat motherfucker. George is hilarious. Yeah, I don't fucking know though. <laughs> I watched too much just, Seinfeld. I, like as a little ass kid, I thought it was annoying. As, like that was my dad's favorite show when I was a kid. Was fucking yeah. My Seinfeld. mama and my stepdad used to watch that. Watch that shit every fucking. It came on before Friends. I liked Friends more than Seinfeld. Nah, they didn't watch that. <laughs> watch the fuck out of Friends, dude. Girlfriends. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Girlfriends. That's what my mama watched. What's the other one? Uh, uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Living single. <laughs> the the hit nineties oh, yeah. television to, series. Back Mad to Max. Fury uh, Furiosa them. Yeah. Yeah, sidetracked with Drake. So so besides thinking that Furiosa herself was stupid, what did you think of the movie overall? Did you I, like the action? I give it a seven point eight out of ten. Seven point eight. <laughs> it was a lot of action. Story was kind of stupid. I mean, like it's let's it's, go all it's the way to this one side, story. then run all the way back. It's a simple ass story. We could just use the same fucking scenery we just used. A million people before us have pointed out that really it's just like one big long action sequence. Yeah. Like like one chase scene essentially the entire movie. They chased us this way. We might as well go back through them niggas. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Said damn, why would we just stay and fight them niggas? I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, we wanted to run first. It's well, not- well, Mad Max just wasn't a fucking factor before before any of that, whatever the fuck. And that's the thing about like all the Mad Max sequels that also people have pointed out is that the movies aren't really about Max or whatever. They're about these other motherfuckers that Max like has to help or ends up helping in some way, even though he's usually just out for himself, right? So I just watched actually the original one for the first time ever last night and that's it's completely fucking different but also similar in so far as max like barely being a character in it which is interesting to me i ain't never played the game in the game well really there's only two games one from like fucking 80s 90s or whatever the fuck and then the the one that came out the same year as this movie we just watched and what's interesting about that fucking game is that there's actually stuff that the director, writer-director George Miller, he had planned out for, like, either two other Mad Max movies that were going to be prequels to this one, or, like, he was going to do an anime series and then a video game. The video game ended up getting taken out of his hands, but they used a lot of his story notes, which is interesting. So there are, like, some characters in that game that are actually in this new Furiosa movie. Because he actually got to make the Furiosa movie that he wanted to make like 25 years ago. They right? say, hey, we got this money. We had ideas. <laughs> what you no, got? Th- these ideas were on the back burner was the thing. Like he's he's been passionate about this shit for like ever. You know what I'm saying they was like we ain't got no more ideas. We just rerunning and scream and shit. Oh well, yeah, these other motherfuckers. Yeah, we run we run and scream and saw. They getting tired of that. Scream we, and saw and we go fucking and Fast and the Furious, Ghostbusters and all that bullshit. Yeah, we coming with a Fast and the Furious 13 right now. Like we got <laughs> we got up to that plan. So like fuck, you want to run something back real quick? We got like 30 million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure this shit cost more, cost more than thirty million. It's like almost two hundred fucking ridiculous ass budgets. I'm on talking these, about just for him to for him to chill with. 
Oh yeah, well, throw him thirty million, and then whatever you need for the film. Yeah, it's on. A, it's on. A, put it on the car. It's and going to Netflix. Any of, any of these salaries <laughs> work? Yeah, it's going to Netflix anyway. We eating off the shit. <laughs> we ain't paying nobody else, so we eating off this shit. I'm not like hype about like all these stupid ass head. Like everyone was freaking out because the Furiosa movie wasn't making money over the weekend or whatever the fuck. And I was just like, give it three more fucking days, like. Tezo says he's gonna see it. Maybe he will. I'm not sure. One day. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a broke ass bitch, so I'm not fucking seeing movies in the theater right now. I was gonna go see it today, but yeah, I, I may or may not have convinced him a little bit to just watch the old one. I didn't have nothing to do. Yeah. It was a day off. Rare. Oh, fucking New York City days. Good God. Beautiful day. Beautiful women outside. <laughs> beautiful women outside. Beautiful women Got on Got my hair celluloid. did. So the beautiful women were looking at me. <laughs> and I could just blush. They look at me when I'm not wearing a hat. Because when I wear a hat, I look like a fucking serial killer. They probably look at you when you wear a hat. They, they look at you. Well, no, they look at me, but not in a good way. That's yeah, <laughs> and I wear I wear my hats too much, but I like I fucking down, aired bro. my hair out the other day, and I was getting you know good. Maybe looks. thinking he a detective. He be, oh fuck no! Nah. He got that detective Yankees hat. That would actually be hilarious if that was true. Just he, he got a detective Yankees hat, and he be wearing this like leather jacket. Yeah, well, not now because it's summertime. But he but looked like a detective. I still wear the hat. Yeah, I look like a fucking dick. In the, the metaphorical sense. Uh, Some bitches like And I am a dick. I'm a great big dick. But we out here. We out here and we fucking yucking in this yuck time. Yeah. Uh, this is this is kind of a weirdo fucko episode, even though we're talking about Mad Max. But um, I don't I'm know. A, it is what it is. It. <laughs> May blitzing through right now. So. Yeah. Soon. I don't know what's next. I don't We're know. like done with this shit. I don't know what other movies. Fucking. Um, well, we talked about like Bad Boys and like you know all this you know, fucking. Yeah, but we're not hype about it. Bored, boring it's looking like shit. July. Yeah. Yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine really, um, and that's that's more of like a morbid curiosity at this point, just because these Marvel movies are like more missed than hit at this. Deadpool point. ain't really missed. No, but I, I like. You could, I could still foresee Deadpool overstaying his welcome, you know. Like, like I could see it getting old, unless you know. Well, it, he it's likes really Spider Man at this point. They damn near the same character. I guess. Except he killed people. I guess. I mean, <laughs> fucking Deadpool. I don't know. Like they gotta, they gotta really pull out all the stops. Like I, I I know they're like shoving all these fucking random X Men cameos from like the old movies like fucking Toad from the first one and Sabretooth and fucking uh, Lady Deathstrike from X Two. Do you remember that bitch? Nope. The the chick who had like she was kind of like Wolverine, but she had like claws coming out of her fingers. Nope. You never saw X Two? I did, but I do not remember it. Oh god damn, dude! That's like. The best one. I remember the last stand. It's like the best. Oh, the last stand sucks dick. The last stand is awful. It's the only one I remember. <laughs> I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Classic. <laughs> Screaming that at Elliot Page. Shout out to Elliot Page for for being an X Men. Don't make a joke. Don't don't make a fucking joke about anything I just said in the last ten seconds. I was about to make a joke. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. Uh, don't, that's not a joke. Okay. Well, well, as hey, 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 good job. That wasn't a joke. That was just a terrible comment. That that is not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't no joke. That was just an awful, untrue thing to say. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't do any such thing. Yeah, shout out to Trailer Park Boys. Oh, fuck. God damn. <laughs> uh, we are on thin ice. I'm bleeping that. <laughs> what? What Trailer Park Boys? <laughs>
No, dude. Trailer Park Boys. Trailer Park Boys is fine. That's fine. Just fuck it. People, <laughs> people go know what it means. Yeah, people can assume. People people will be able to fill in the fucking blanks. People who watch Trailer Park Boys know. People know. I'm, yeah, God, and God. if you haven't, watch Hobo with a Shotgun. <laughs> My Tezos movie recommendation. Tezos movie recommendation of the episode. <laughs> Hobo with a shotgun. A movie I haven't even seen. Great film. Yeah, so I've heard. I've heard it's it's good. All right. You know. If you like, like gore. I forget what like people have compared it to. Like like I can't compare it to nothing. Except any I, I think it was like a pre John Wick, John Wick type like revenge movie or some shit, but starring a hobo. Starring Rucker Hauer as a hobo. He just wanna cut grass. <laughs> All he wanna do was spend forty dollars on a lawnmower. <laughs> but niggas made him buy, uses forty dollars on a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> and now he a hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> well that's a wonderful premise for a film. God, we are all the fuck over the place. These timestamps are gonna be nuts. Let me let me say it now. Uh, Mad Max. Yeah, I watched the first Mad Max movie for the first time ever. And good golly gosh, what a far fucking cry from just about any other movie that's coming out today. It was a real like it, the transfer I saw was on HBO Max. Really fucking good quality. Like, goddamn, that's a good looking fucking movie. And it came out in 1979. Mad Max came out in 1979, the first one. Yeah. Right before Crack Hit. <laughs> well, who knows when Crack Hit Australia? Oh, yeah. Honestly, from the look of Mad Max 1, it looked like Crack already did hit Australia. We're being fucking real with it. They were telling about New York. Like, <laughs> it was in the 80s. Mel Gibson was the one who brought the crack from America to Australia. Now, him and Whitney Houston. Ah, <laughs> uh, Pete. Oh, good God! But yeah, like, like, like I was saying before, Max is really almost kind of like a side character in his own movie, even in the first one. For a lot of the movie, like, good chunk of it is about like his partner on the police force named Goose. It's just like this, this super chill, like Australia guy is like, oh, uh, all right, mate, yeah, yeah, Max, it's you, you gotta gotta help me take out these bikers, you know, whatever the fuck. It's me, you, your friend Goosey, fucking blah blah blah. He's just like this, you know, whatever the fuck. He keeps getting into like horrific accidents at one point, and it turns out it's like a, a ploy by the evil biker gang to fucking murder him or whatever. Because they want, like, the whole movie is about this biker gang getting revenge for, for Max killing one of their fucking guys. Basically. As they should. Yeah. They get back a month of Yeah, like, the, the, what the guy had done was stolen one of the uh, Interceptor V8 police cruisers at the beginning of the movie. And that's, like, the first 20 minutes of Mad Max 1 is just a car chase of all these dumbass cops trying to chase this one car down and max is the only one that fucking does anything successfully so it's like uh fifth element but instead of them chasing him he chases somebody else sure i mean well <laughs> for for all the movie after that he's being chased by the biker gang so dead is like fifth element where he they be chased by the alien again. That's that's. This is a very strange comparison to be making. To I, it just made me think about Fifth Element. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess. I mean, I like. I don't know. He's, he's like. It could just be the storytelling format. <coughs> it well, yeah. It, it's like. And plus, it was made before Fifth Element. Way the fuck before Fifth Element. A good fucking like decade and a half. So you could say Fifth Element copy Mad Max in theory. <laughs> Not even a little bit, but sure. Um, they just had Chris Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Chris Chris Tucker. I bet movie niggas be going crazy if they would was to listen to her here. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is fucking short circuiting right now. It's like the most random fucking comparison in, in human history. I mean, like. I don't know. Is it just a movie about a fucking cop who fucks with the wrong bikers and the bikers are mad? Whatever the fuck. Blah blah blah. 
Like I, I, there's there's probably a better comparison to be made, but I can't think of one. So fuck it. The Fifth Element. I don't fucking know. But that movie better. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to Mad Max though. Bad fucking Max. That nigga got paid all that money to say shit. Been through a lot. Yeah. He he has like like less than a hundred lines in the fucking in the movie we if just I watched. Was, if I was Furiosa, I hate that nigga too. Probably has even less lines in the fucking original movie. That nigga be like he the big shit, nigga. You ain't got to remember nothing, nigga. Freestyle <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just so fucking works out. Yeah, and then and then like that nigga so- thought he was Bane for a few scenes. Basically, yeah, he still had the Bane voice, hundred percent. I th- I want to say like. Those two movies were actually filming around the same time. Oh, that makes sense. Because Fury Road took like forever to come out because there was a shitload of production delays. Like they started I, filming. I gave him some bonus points. I get, I get again, a movie at eight. Blah, blah, blah. That nigga, that nigga was you know in a different character. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my name is Max. I Fury I was born in the dark. I uh, like how they didn't show how he fucked up those bikers. <laughs> the niggas them. Yeah. He just came black bloody. Yeah, the, uh, the the fucking uh, the bullet farmer. Yeah, we needed to see just that. Just blows the motherfucker up. I and, might have to take some points back away for it. <laughs> oh, come on. That shit is so fucking good. When he just comes back for the, for, through nah, the fog. We and he's, see you. he's got all the fucking ammo and guns. We want to see what you did, buddy. Nah. Show your work. John Wick shows his work. Nah. Uh, what's Denzel Washington shows his work? Nah, Mad Max is like the fucking shark from Jaws. The equal- equalizer. He's a force of fucking nature. Show your work, people. <laughs> what teacher tell you? Doesn't count. It's Bruce the Shack. If you don't show your work. My name is Bruce. I can't rake you as like, oh yeah, that nigga, he be handling shit. Because I don't know. Like the bitch from Resident Evil be handling bullshit to Mad Max, you ask me. Fucking Resident she, Evil's she, got zombies and shit. She in it, show her work. Zombies come by the bajillion. She show that's what she would go to work. Show it. She put. So that's in. not a fair <laughs> comparison. Okay, let's talk about fucking post apocalypses. Then at this point, what what I think would be more fair is uh, but under the Apes count your your fallouts. Um, the Apes ain't driving cars. But they do have horses. But it is post apocalypse human apocalypse. I'd say it counts, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough comparison, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's a little more, like, split down the middle just because, like, the apes and humans and, and whatnot. I guess there are less humans than apes. No. No? The I apes don't know. think that... Well, I wouldn't fucking know. I didn't watch this most recent one. And, um... But also, like... The niggas went underground. Yeah. Yeah, you told me about that, but who knows, like, how many they're actually... Like, like in the, the fucking... The the monkeys think they damn near extinct, but in that movie, when... In, in like, when two, one, two, like, two or three movies before this, they do say how many humans are left. But they but start like, fucking. The, yeah, like, they didn't specify in the, the movie after that. Because they it ran... It like, it, 5% or some shit. They was running into the hordes of wild niggas. Like, it was just wild people just out there. Yeah, like fifty but then, of them. Then also, they don't ever say what like the distribution of apes is. You know, so like it's hard to know exactly for sure. Yeah, how they, they different species and tribe. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. I don't fucking know. What's is up? All kinds of different ass apes. Or they had gibbons in in this movie, like little mo- little motherfuckers. I don't remember. Hmm. Well. Fuck that shit. Other other apocalypses is, is Fallout. We've been Fallout, yeah. we watched the Fallout show. We've been playing through Fallout. They don't got fucking cars though. They got helicopters and shit. And airships. They do have cars. They just don't use it. They're all wrecked and fucked. And like no one ever has a car. Really. Probably because the roads. Yeah, but like nah. there are some like settlements where the, they try to keep the roads up. In the NCR, well, the NCR is fucked. No, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't fucking matter. You got Walking Dead, no? Walking Dead, definitely. Or, yeah, I guess it counts, but still, it's zombies. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's like an unfair 
disadvantage or something, you know? They zombies walk, so... Like, and also, like, fucking, like, if we're going back to Resident Evil, like, Alice from the movies has, like, fucking superpowers and shit. Yeah. You know? She's got, like, I mean, fucking X-Men shit going on in her DNA. If Fallout, you can get powers if you get ready. <laughs> you get perks. We got plenty of perks to go through still. Yuck Zone Volume 3 coming, who knows when. <laughs> who the fuck knows? Percocet. Molly Percocet. Yeah. We're gonna be doing some fun things. We, we gotta, like, do shit that I've never done in Fallout before. Like, we gotta do a lot of evil shit. So usually I'm a good boy in Fallout. I like to do the evil shit in game. Yeah. I want to see what the dark side is like. Well, some of it's more fun. I mean, like, in order to get the ghoul mask, we have to do some evil shit. You know, like, some things we have to do, like, in order to get certain advantages are evil. I'm going to slime some niggas out. Like, if we end up fucking enslaving Brian Wilkes and we have to make friends with all those fucking slavers first. Before they even give us the slave collars, you know? Damn. Yeah, exploding bomb collars. It's fucked up. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it's fucked up. Post apocalypse. This is the end. That's kind of done, but it's not really in that way. It's it. very fucking like. Because they all soon die after. pretty much. It's basically just an apocalypse movie. Yeah. <clears throat> not pre or post, just apocalypse. Everybody. Yeah. That movie was lit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that movie was stupid as fuck. It was. Shocking that only two of the cast members have been canceled. Sort mm. of. <laughs> I'm not counting, like, everyone who, like, dies in the first 20 minutes or, or whatever the fuck. All those motherfuckers. I think Aziz Ansari was there. Maybe. Uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm missing some other post-apocalyptic worlds. Um, what are some other ones? Terminator. And the, you don't fuck with Terminator like that. I probably the last Terminator I seen is when they they was on a bridge or some shit. That was uh like like ten years ago. That one. You didn't see the one before that. You didn't see the one with uh with fucking Batman Christian Bale. I don't remember. Nope. Dog. That's the one that that like is literally in like the apocalypse. It's set entirely in the apocalypse. And it's fucking actually not that bad. I just watched it like a month ago. It wasn't in the Schwarzenegger's. Schwarzenegger's not in that one, really. He's he's like he they they have a CGI Schwarzenegger at the end of that one, but just at the end, and then they like melt all the flesh off his fucking robot bones, turn him into the classics. It, it's not a bad movie. It's it's got it's it's him and then the the Avatar motherfucker. Who? The 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 fu- fucking. White guy from Avatar. I would have watched it though, boo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he only got the job because he was just fucking best friends with James Cameron at that point. James Cameron still had, I think, say over what the fuck was going on with the Terminator movies. So you want a job? Getting passed around from, she, from film company say to film word, company like brother. fucking. Like, like a whore. Terminator franchise has been whored the fuck out. Been around the block. But yeah, that's an apocalypse. What the fuck else? It's a pretty good apocalypse, too. That's where we're I don't even think of zombie ones. Well, yeah, the zombie ones, you know, all that shit. All the George Romero zombies. Those are the easy zombies. All the, the slow shamblers, you know? You don't got no motherfuckers running at your ass like fucking no, the, Dawn of the Dead 2004. The smart ones. Smart zombies. God. Yeah, like the Zack Snyder, like uh, like an anime, the, the, the Las Vegas movie, the Army of the Dead, whatever the fuck it was called. It's actually funny that uh, Ella Purnell, the girl from Fallout, was in that shit. So she's been in multiple apocalypses. She was also on Yellow Jackets, where she was stuck in the woods with. Cheeto from Mad Max Fury Road. Shout out to Cheeto. Shout out to Cheeto. I forget her name. I think it's Victoria something. I don't fucking know. I'm not looking it up. I'm gonna look Shout it up out to you. A little bit later. She plays the, the scary chick in Yellow Jackets. She's fucking fucked up. She has like uh, schizophrenia. And she interprets that as like psychic visions. And once like 
It's about this soccer team, this girls' soccer team that gets, like, stranded in the woods after a plane crash, right? They all have to start, like, fucking eating each other and shit. So, like, once they do go feral, they go, like, fucking mad feral. Like, tribal and shit. They're, like, fucking sacrificing each other, and it's they fucking metal. They ain't want to try to hunt or nothing like that? Well, they try, but, like, the wo- like there's something, like, fucked up with the woods. Like, like some supernaturally, like... Like, the woods is fucked up. Like, they, they all the animals just start disappearing. So they can't, like, hunt anymore. Like, oh. they're fucked. And, and it, like, it starts slowly making them go insane because they're out there for, like, months. Mm. And they end up having to, like, survive through the winter and shit. It's pretty good. That's a great fucking show. And it's it's not only that, but it's also about, like, the, the ones who survive, like, 25 years later. So, like, you know, the, all the, the baggage with, you know, them having been cannibals in the woods, like, sort of revisiting them as adults. Yeah, some of them are still, like, fucking crazy as shit. I still eat niggas. Jeffrey Dahmer. Good-ass show. Fucking Yellow Jackets. Good as shit. It's so fucking, like, 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 actually, like, freaked me out in some fucking points. Nothing really freaks me out like that. I don't know. Just like I would not want to be them. <laughs> like some some of the motherfuckers like die by accident and shit, and they're just like, well, you know, may as well, chomp, Oregon, chomp, chomp. Oregon Trail. Yeah. Ugh. Spooky shit. Spooky shit. Pseudo apocalyptic. Not really an apocalypse, but like close enough. Fuck. Having to eat your fucking friends. Uh, what else? Yeah, we we would be eating leaves. We would be dead. <laughs> we would be, be fucked up. I would have been one of the niggas got ate because I would have ate some home <laughs> green shit. I couldn't even like put myself in that fucking scenario. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably just fucking end it, and then someone would have to eat my ass. It would be easy if you had animals to look at. Like, all right, the animals eating that, going to eat that, maybe. Yeah. But then you got no animals. Unless it's some fucking fucko animal that can just eat poison. Yeah, they digest that shit. Like a koala, I think they eat poison. Yeah, they got what they got gonorrhea. Yeah, they all have gonorrhea or chlamydia or some shit. They all have STDs. It's fucked up, so you can't go, like, touching the fucking Mm -hmm. koalas in Australia. Bringing it back to Australia. Fucking Mad Max. What a time. What a place. Mad Max Fury Road. We're getting furious on the fucking road, motherfuckers. Wonder if George Miller came up with that name or title before the uh, the Fast and Furious movies started coming out. Can only imagine, because if he if he really had that shit in the back of his fucking brain for like a million bajillion years, there weren't no Mad Max movies in the nineties. That's for sure. None of that fucking shit. We've had Mad Max movies across four different decades. And neither of those, or none of those, were the '90s or the 2000s. This count as 2000. No, it's the 2010s. It's still 2000. That done. Uh, that no, 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 sir. So what's the year? 2015. It's like right smack dab in the middle of the decade. You saying it like it's 2015? But what is it? 2000. 2010s. 2000 20 and 10s 10s 2000 2015 20, there's a distinction no one ever said 2001 <laughs> except for dumbasses that early 2k 20 no like well that's that's a, a separate decade do you know how decades work that's early 2k <laughs> Do you know how deck? Yeah, and, and I'm saying the, 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 the early 2Ks there were no Mad Max movies. 2010s, 15s, early 2K. We still in the early 2Ks right now. That is not the same decade. Mid 2K, literally is same century. Yes, and I'm talking about decades. Same century. I'm talking about decades. I specified decades. Still the 2000s. That is that. That is not. 
any relevant <laughs> information. You lose, sir. You lose, sir. It's it's two thousand. We both are two thousand. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying from the cat shit that was in my lungs. That was your choice. <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's my fucking d- 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 instrument. You just gotta burn it. Ugh. This this. Uh, sh- <laughs> yeah, you just gotta burn aluminum foil. You know, mm-hmm. like why don't why don't we all just smoke out of hey, aluminum is- foil? They that's what they're doing on the streets. Yeah, and they're dumbasses. <laughs> they ain't smoking, Anyone doing that? They ain't on the smoking weed though. Is far the fuck gone already? They ain't smoking. Whatever the fuck, they're on. Yeah, they ain't smoking weed up that bitch, but they smoking that bitch. <sighs> they pull that aluminum foil. Uh, I just said today, get the move. Hey, look, nigga, asked me for a lighter. I'm thinking he gonna light a cigarette or some shit. That nigga pulled that aluminum foil out and got to work. I'm like, this nigga not really just hitting this shit in front of me like this. This has been a very stressful day. <laughs> Somewhat stressful evening. And now there are loud noises outside being made by a giant truck. Say Thank no you, to truck. aluminum foil. Say no to aluminum foil. Chuck it in the truck. Just chuck it in the truck. Kids. <laughs> chuck the junk in the trunk. Uh that's yeah, that's our fucking uh health and safety advisory for the episode that's that's going to be our new gimmick every episode we're going to have a health and safety advisory we're going to tell you how to keep yourselves healthy and safe i don't don't do any of what we do ever i don't know (laughs) i don't know if that advice will keep you healthy and safe well, I mean, like, it's I do occasionally right eat food, That's so it. maybe you should do a little bit of that. Hey, but Stay on the right path. In terms of the things that we usually talk about on this show. No, no, I'm talking about to stay away from aluminum foil part. Well, sure. Other things will hurt you. But... <laughs> <laughs> stay clear of that. Fuck's sake. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, like stay away from the aluminum foil, but smoke <laughs> all the crack you want in the oh, world. Oh yeah, crackheads live <laughs> well and fine into the <laughs> late eighties now. 90s. That's, that's some insane <laughs> shit. Like, what kind of heart medicine are they taking, if at all? I mean, what, what are they cooking in the crack? They're they're all on Ozempic. They're putting Ozempic in the crack. They, it's, it's <laughs> I don't want them to find out, and y'all don't need to stay away. <laughs> Uh, I watched that fucking South Park Ozempic bullshit that that dropped. Did you hear about that? <laughs> um, fucking fucking Cartman taking Ozempic. No, that is a thing, and it exists, and it's actually kind of all right. The like like they the, the, those motherfuckers really don't know how to end episodes or anything anymore. Because I'm going to go ahead and spoil that. Fucking Cartman takes Ozempic, but then it infringes on the fact that he was spending so much money on eating cereal and and KFC in a bucket at the same time, where, where he would fucking... He was basically like like spending so much money on cereal that all the cereal mascots had to come after and, and try to murder him for for taking Ozempic and 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 other like also having a shit like uh. I feel like I gotta explain like the entire plot of the, the episode that ruins now. the money either way. <laughs> But like like they like the the boys end up with a, a giant stash of Ozempic because like they they have to all like bootleg it from like out of town like like it's the fucking Dallas Buyers Club or some shit because all the goddamn women in town have been taking it and turning hot right sure. <laughs> so they've all been fiending on it and they've been taking it all but then like and turning hot th- the boys end up getting it for Cartman because they feel bad for him because <laughs> you that yeah, makes sense, fat niggas. Like they actually like like he 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 acts so pathetic and sad that he's always gonna be fat, and that his doctor won't prescribe him Mozambique because he's not diabetic. 
that like they they decide to yeah, he's get a child. it for him. Well, not like apparently like they they can give children the shit if they're yeah the, fucking diabetic. That's what I'm saying. That's what you don't need it if you're a child. Well, the point fucking is that the doctors that weren't giving the women the shit. They were all fucking getting it from. But from, they grown ass women. They could do what the fuck they want. Yeah, but you can't just buy the shit at the fucking corner store. Is the thing. I mean, shit. They were having to like get fake fucking scripts. How you think all this Adderall and Xanax get out here? Well, my point being, you know, it's not they're not getting it above board. It was definitely them housewives. Yeah, <laughs> they with them kids all day. Yeah. Out them perks. Good God. Meanwhile, in Mad Max, they're not really on drugs so much as they're on spray paint. I don't know, maybe some of them are on drugs. I think in the, the first movie they were on drugs. Possibly. <laughs> Probably. They Probably. Up, they have that doom spice. Some, some of them were just straight up, like, fucked up in the head. Dune might be a post-apocalypse that doom type spice. thing. Maybe. I mean, That's like, different it, worlds. Yeah, but it takes place in the future of, of, you know, this Earth is the thing. They talk about like Hitler and shit in the the next book. How? <laughs> like Paul compares himself to Hitler, which is uh, fucking phenomenal. A charismatic leader of men that rallied a nation that was. Well, no, he explicitly <laughs> talks about all the murders. He's he's pretty fucking upfront oh. about about all the murders. The uh, the other side, okay. <laughs> No, he's not just some 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 dude some with a smiling fuck face that everyone <laughs> liked that just happened to be on fucking meth all the time. No, I'm talking about uh, the Trades like I like he uh, hopefully he would uh, those characteristics, not the <laughs> bringing it bring the it mass it all, genocide. Bring it all back to Trump while while it's fresh in in our minds at least. They, like, did you hear about that Trump movie that's coming out? With Sebastian Stan, where he's like they, they they financed the movie by tricking like a Trump supporter guy, like like a rich like Trump, like basically one of Trump's friends. They tricked him into making this movie, into funding it, and he got pissed because the movie just shows like Trump doing meth, basically <laughs> doing meth and like fucking hookers and shit. I believe it. <laughs> sound like Washington D.C. and New York. <laughs> well, it's like young Trump. Oh, it's it's like 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 early days Trump. He was off that ketamine. You sure. He was off them quaaludes. Were they doing ketamine? Yeah, like quaaludes sounds sounds pretty pretty he was apt for good, the time. Good straight job. The the whatever the special quaaludes that they took in Wolf of Wall Street, the ones with the special brand name on them. He's still getting lit to the day. God. And mother, he's probably getting lit right now. If he's not in custody, <laughs> if he, he's probably like no, doing he fucking hella drugs right now. That fucking prick. This some white collar shit. He's like fucking doing drugs and getting his dick sucked by Nikki Haley. Him and um his um son. Which one? <laughs> the one that be drunk on TV. <laughs> Junior. That nigga. God. All right. I think with that, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking got, about Trump Jr. getting drunk on TV. I got a dip. Too. Te yeah, Tezo is technically working right now, and we're digging into it. But with that, it's been another episode of Yuck Time. We'll catch you next week, maybe. I don't know. We got some interruptions coming up. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna. I don't know. We might have a hiatus. We might not. We'll fucking see. We might record on the side of the fucking highway. It, it's sh shit happens who knows and follow us on fucking instagram at yuck.time twitter at yucko prime subscribe to us on youtube if you haven't already smash the like button leave a comment and patreon three dollars a month get credited blah -de blah -de blah see you next time whenever the fuck it's gonna be goodbye say bye tez adios amigos uh -huh.